Okay, hello my third graders. This is lesson 1.11 and we are doing some mental math today. And in class, we talked about two different ways to solve these problems. You can use option one by grouping the tens and the hundreds places together. Or you can choose, we'll call this option one. Or you can choose option two, which is to combine the tens and the hundreds place together. So we'll call this option number two. Now, what we also realize, though, is that some of these problems, option number one and option number two, does not really work. You have to do some serious regrouping, okay? Uh, one of the problems where we realized that option one and option two doesn't really work is problem number four. You need to regroup all the way across, basically like the old school method that we um, talked about in class. Okay, let's look at number five. Once again, this is mental math, and it's supposed to help you solve these subtraction problems in your head, rather than having to go to the old school method, but sometimes you have to do old school method anyway. So let's see here, does option number one even work for problem number five? Well, if I cover this up, 70 minus 32 works, but you can't take away 6 from 0. Let's see if option number 2 works for problem number 5. No, it doesn't work either because you can't take away 26 from double zero. So option number 1 does not work for number 5. What you're going to need to do for this one, like I talked about at the beginning of the lesson, is you need to regroup. So you kind of have to go back to the old school method for this one. Borrow from the 7, make it a 6. That becomes 10. Borrow from the 10, that becomes 11. And then the 0 here in the 1's place becomes 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 11 minus 2 is 9. And 6 minus 3 is 3. So problem number five, option number one and option number two did not work. You have to go to the old school method. Let's look at problem number six. Let's see if option number two works. Option number two does not work because you cannot take away 79 from 25. What about option number one? Well, I can take away 17 from 32, but what I'm left with is 5 minus 9 and that's not going to work. So option number 1 and option number 2 does not work for problem number 6 either. Alright, so you're going to have to go to the old school method for number 6. Borrowing all the way across. Okay, so I borrowed all the way across or regrouped. 15 minus 9 is 6. 11 minus 7 is 4, and 2 minus 1 is 1. Let's look at number 7. Does option number 1 work? Well, 93 minus 81 works, and 5 minus 3 works. So option number 1 works for problem number 7. 93 minus 81 is 12, and 5 minus 3 is 2. Let's look at number eight. Let's see if option number one works. 35 minus 29 works, and then I can still do eight minus two. 35 minus 29 is six, and eight minus two is six. So you can see option number one worked for both of these. Let's look at number nine. Does option number one work? Well, that works, but for this one, you cannot take away 7 from 6. Let's see if option number 2 works. 26 minus 17, and then 8 minus 6. Yes, so option number 2 works for number 9. 26 minus 17 is 9, and 8 minus 6 is 2. Let's go ahead and do a couple more problems here on the homework. 
you can see option number one, 90 minus 15 works, but you cannot take away eight from zero. So option number one does not work. What about option number two? Nope, you cannot take away 58 from double zero. So this is one of those where you're gonna have to do the old school method and regroup all the way across. Borrow from the nine, that becomes 10. Borrow from the 10, and then the last zero here in the ones place becomes a 10. 10 minus eight is two, nine minus five is four, and eight minus seven is seven. Let's look at number 11 and see if option number one works. Well, 60 minus 56 works, but you cannot take away eight from seven. So option number one does not work. Let's see if option number two works. Nope, you cannot take away 68 from seven. So neither option one or option two work. You need to do the old school method for number 11. Need to borrow all the way across. 17 minus 8 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3, and 5 minus 5 is 0. Let's do one last problem here. Let's see if option number 1 works. Well, that works, but you cannot take away 9 from 3. Let's see if option number 2 works. Yes, you can take away 69 from 73, and yes, you can take away 8 from 9. So option number 2 works. 73 minus 29 is 4, and 9 minus 8 is 1. Well, I was able to do quite a few problems for you. It seems like what you want to do is try option 1, see if it works. Try option 2, see if it works. If option 1 or option 2 does not work, then go ahead and go with the old school method of subtraction. Hopefully this lesson has helped you with your homework. 